Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jules. Today I'm going to be reviewing a brand new concealer for you. I know this has been on my radar ever since I saw this released on Instagram and was kind of looking for the release date on this one, but I don't remember ever seeing one, but I was in Sephora the other day and I saw that they had the entire stock of these concealers in store. So I figured I would go ahead and pick it up and see what it was all about. I typically have been leaning more towards less of a matte concealer these days. I know that this is matte, but it is a luminous matte. So I wanted to see what this one was all about. So if you'd like to hear the review on this one, see me try this out on my skin today and see a wear test and see how it wears throughout the day, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I've already um, done my brows, did some shadow, liner, and I went ahead and added my foundation. I am ready for the concealer now, but let me tell you a little bit about this and show it to you first. Here's the packaging. Very standard for all of Huda Beauty's packaging. I did pick up the shade Brittle 6.5G which I assume means golden, golden undertone. Okay, here is what it looks like. It says, it's upside down, faux filter concealer, and that's it. It seems to be all plastic packaging. So this is called the Faux Filter Luminous Matte Buildable Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. Before we get into this, let me just tell you about my skin. I do have combo skin, and by that I mean that it is oily down the center in the T-zone area. T-zone meaning, meaning forehead, and then down the center is considerably oilier than the rest of my face. I don't have super, super oily skin, but it is on the oily side. After a day's wear on a foundation, usually I will see oil peeking through the sides of my nose, maybe in this area a little bit, down my nose a tad bit, in this area on my forehead, in this area and on my chin, I will see some oil production. Everywhere else is pretty normal skin. So that is just a background of my skin. I typically don't like to wear a matte concealer anymore. I feel like as I've gotten older, my under eye area has considerable more fine lines underneath them and it leans towards the normal to dry side under my eyes. So. I typically don't wear a matte concealer anymore because I find that it settles into those fine lines and it just looks crepey and dry after I set it. And with me, most concealers, pretty much every concealer that I use, I do have to set with a setting powder. If I don't, it's going to settle into those fine lines and I will have that creasing. So I do have to set my concealer. And I think most everyone does have to set it. Um, now, if you have extremely dry under eyes, you may not have to set and you may be able to just, you know, touch it in that area to smooth it out as the day goes by. I know some people do that. So that's not uncommon if you have extremely dry skin underneath the eye area. So this retails for $29. It comes with 0.30 ounces of product in it and as far as the shade range it looks pretty expansive I feel like you've got undertones for every category of skin color so Huda Beauty has always been pretty inclusive this is said to be a buildable creamy formula and I'm reading directly from Sephora's website it's a creamy formula that can flex from medium to full coverage while it visibly brightens and conceals. It is fragrance free, long wearing, crease proof, and made to move with you. So the finish does say it is matte, but it has luminous in the name, which is why I wanted to try it. The highlighted ingredients in here are going to be vitamin E and sweet almond oil. It is said to condition and care for the delicate under eye skin. 
This is free of parabens. A lot of the bad stuff, it is also vegan and cruelty free. I'll list all of the ingredient call outs right here. What else you need to know, it says that the sweet almond oil and vitamin E work to nourish without settling into your fine lines. This is said to melt into your skin and has an extended staying power that is waterproof and won't transfer. It's available in 29 shades. So let me tell you how I matched myself for this concealer. I took the concealer that I love and this is what I wear on a daily basis. This is my go-to concealer at the moment. This is the Tarte Sea Power Flex Concealer. In this one, I'm in the shade Tan Deep Sand. So I didn't actually have my specific concealer with me, but I knew that Sephora carried it. So I went and swatched my skin with this shade. And then that's how I found the perfect match in the Huda, Huda Beauty one. So I'll just do a side-by-side -side swatch for you, just in case you're curious. This one is the Tarte one. And my, just to note, my hands are considerably darker than my face, which is why this looks so contrasting to my skin. And then going in with the Huda Beauty one right next to it. And we can also take a look at this doe foot applicator on the Huda Beauty one. It is a, um, it is a doe foot, but this is different from other ones that I've seen in that it has a slight curve or a bend there at the tip of it. And then looking at it from the side, it looks like it's got a wider foot there in order to kind of stamp that concealer. And that is what it looks like. So this is my Tarte swatch. And then I'll just go right next to that with this one. So this one is the Huda Beauty one. And this one is the Tarte one. So pretty similar if not an exact match. So I'm really hoping that it's gonna translate that way under my eyes. Now for skin prep today, I did go in with my um, Glam Glow Illuminating Eye Cream, both on my lids and underneath my eyes. And then I will follow up once that has dried in and kind of sunken into the skin. I will take my uh, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops and I will take that pretty much from here all the way up to here. The majority of it I am taking right here onto the upper cheekbone, but I do concentrate that under my eye area too, just for some added moisture, just because my under eyes are a little dry. So now that we've covered all of that, let's go ahead and try the concealer. So I've got about that much on there. I did wipe off a little bit onto the inside of the opening and let's just see how this goes on. I am just gonna work on one eye first because I don't know how quickly that this is going to dry down. So that is a nice tip there because you can kind of push that right into that inner eye area. So I'm just gonna start with about that much and then I will dab some right there in that outer corner. That's typically how I've been wearing my concealer lately. I'm taking a clean brush from Rare Beauty. This is the concealer brush from Rare Beauty. This is one of the ones that I typically keep in the rotation. And then I typically like to start here on the outer corner and I'll blend that in first. So I'm just kind of pressing, moving back and forth. Going right underneath the liner that I have there. And then just kind of blending downwards a little bit, but that dried down pretty quickly. And then I'll go ahead and blend this portion in. Not as creamy as the Tarte one when I'm comparing it to that one. But it does blend in 
nicely. It does dry down pretty quickly, so you have to work quickly. And this is not one where you um, probably not want to dot all over your face because it will dry by the time you get to it. Hmm. It's looking kind of dry and crepey there where I blended it in. I don't know if I want to add more to smooth that out. Let me see if I can smooth it out with a little bit more. I'm just going to dab a little bit right into the corner and then work to blend that in thinking that it might have already have dried down a tad bit by the time I got to it. Oh, I don't know y'all, this is looking crepey. It's just looking a little crepey to me already. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the other eye. On this side, I am just gonna work literally one section at a time. So let's try it this way. On this side and see if it's different for the inner corner. Okay, this looks better on this side because I worked quicker on this side than the other side. I'm gonna add a little bit more to this side and see if it makes a difference. I'm going to take a little bit more to this side like I did the other side. I feel like that's better. I feel like the eyes do look brighter and I do feel like it kind of corrected the darkness underneath there. I'm going to pick up just a tad bit to go down my nose. A little bit up through there. It's just to highlight a little bit in this area. Okay, I went ahead and brought down my setting powder so I can show you how this sets using my Givenchy setting powder. And I'm just gonna be setting it with one of these puffs that I get off of the Amazon. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure there's no creasing. And I really don't see very much. Once I added a little bit more to this side, truly does look full coverage and very minimal creasing. So just kind of pressing that in and then I'm gonna go right in with my puff and set.
looks pretty flawless once I've set it. Okay, I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side, just making sure everything's smooth and that's amazing. Once I added more product, it really does look smoother and less crepey. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this. I'm gonna go ahead and set my nose. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the puff up here as well and just set my forehead. And then I'll pick up a little bit more powder, set down here. and just lightly setting everything else so I can go ahead and bronze and finish off the face. Okay, let me go finish off everything. Oh, let me show you a close up of how everything looks once I set everything. And I'll be back with the finished look. Okay, I'm back with the completed look. I had the intention of blow drying my hair and maybe doing some curls, but then I took my hair down and I figured, why not? It's so appropriate for the summer, right? Beachy waves. So this is just my easy go-to hair lately. It's so low maintenance. Straight out of the shower, you know, I've got these little waves going on, so why not work with it? Anyway, I am really happy with the way everything came together, liking the way that the concealer is looking. Once I've set it, I feel like my under eyes look bright. I feel like I didn't need as much as I usually use with my Tarte. Um, a little bit of this one goes a long way. I feel like it's maybe a little bit more full coverage than the Tarte one. So yeah, we'll see how this wears throughout the day. I do want to do a wear test for you, so I'll do some check-ins for you, and we'll kind of analyze how everything looks here at the end of the night. So that's going to do it for now, and I will see you at the next check-in. So we are about three hours in, a little bit more than three hours in. I'm going to say that I put this on at about 1.45 and it is a little bit after five at this point. I did change and I ended up blow drying my hair after all. We are headed out uh, to do a little shopping and then we're gonna grab dinner. But this is how the concealer is looking so far, so far, no creasing, no breaking up, no crepiness, looking good so far. Okay, so here we are. We've made it to almost the nine hour mark. It is almost 1030. And so I feel like we've got a really good amount of wear time for this concealer. I did do a close up in my up close mirror zoomed in to really look under the eyes. And I'm really impressed by this concealer. There's very minimal creasing. I expect a little bit of creasing after that many hours of wear. And so it's very minimal, still looks really good. Doesn't look crepey or dry or excessively creased from a regular viewpoint. I'll pull you up close here in a second so you can see everything really up close and personal, but I'm really impressed for this first day of wear. Now I'm curious, I wanna wear it for the next few days and definitely will give you an update at the end of the month, but so far so good on this one. I'm really surprised because when I initially put this on, I didn't think it was gonna work for me. So um, I guess layering on top of that initial layer and just really smoothing it in did the trick. Here is a close up for you, pulling you in really close so you can really see under my eyes. So that's going to do it for me on this one. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this was helpful. Um, I know I feel like new concealer releases are few and far between lately. And so when this one came out, I definitely wanted to try it. 
So I hope this was helpful if you were thinking about trying this one. I will have the details of all of the makeup that I used for today's video down in the description box below. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And as always, I love you guys. Be blessed. And I will see you in the very next one. Bye.